Yes, welcome to our today's demonstration video. We are going to demonstrate about solar water pumping for uh, for cattle. Yeah, we are in some part of Uganda in Chegegwa. So uh, I've started with uh, our power generator, which are the solar panels. We have four solar panels in number, and each is 495 watts. Um, yeah, we have also connected. Uh, a lightning arrester system down. I'm going to take you down to the controller, then to the well, and then to the reservoir, and then see how water is coming. Yeah, we are delivering this water to some good distance and to a high elevation. Yeah, someone may ask, how do we or how can you uh, how can you use solar energy to pump water from underground and then you push it to a long distance and it on a high elevation. Yeah, we are pumping if you can uh, see in that hill that is where our reservoir is and we have a vertical height the vertical height is the straight line vertical distance from the water source up to where the tank is uh, it is 70 meters a total of 70 meters that is quite high uh, on that you add about two meters of the tank height and then we are getting water it is a shallow well it has been dug to a hundred feet, a hundred feet, that is the water level. Then the 20 feet covers the water. We shall see the, 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 the water. Let's go and see the control. Okay, I've come back to the control room from the rooftop where our solar panels are. I'm going to show you uh, our control system. So this is uh, our control system. It is a hybrid, meaning that you can use both direct current that is power from solar panels and batteries or you can use ac ac is uh, alternating current that is power from uh, grid power or generator that produces ac and you can you can set a controller to either use dc or ac or to be automatic whereby it automatically selects uh, the power from either uh, solar or uh, AC. You can put hybrid. Hybrid, uh, it also automatically selects the most powerful power from any source. Uh, yeah, this controller uh, work is quite advanced. We have IoT. IoT is uh, Internet of Things. You can control everything internet. via the internet on your phone, on your laptop, on your iPad from anywhere in the world, so long as we have internet. That's why inside here, we have connected a SIM card. That is our SIM card. And we have an antenna to boost uh, the network. Um, so, um, yeah, this, uh, um, this controller, if the well gets empty, just in case, the pump will not run, that means you're protecting your pump from running dry. Hence, you cannot, you cannot lose your pump because water uh, from the well has got finished. Then, if you can still connect a tank, in case the tank is full, um, the controller can still switch off automatically. Now, uh, the other advantage with this controller is that you can see uh, the voltage you have. So currently we are having uh, around 158. You can see the amps or the current you are currently having you can see the revolution is per minute that is the speed of the motor in the pump all connected to the pump you can see the wattage or the power you are currently generating or you are currently getting and you can increase uh, you can increase the speed now on mode you can put to AC that is in case you have AC power you can connect auto if you want to the, the controller to automatically select. You can connect to hybrid. That is if you you either connecting you want to connect automatically. You want to input two power sources at the same time. Uh, yeah, let's go back to what. Yeah, this is a, a cable that goes to the to the pump that we shall see in the well. Uh, this is a circuit breaker. Um, that gets power from the panels yeah let's go and see the well and then later we shall see the reservoir 
just take you back to the controller where where you can connect your AC power. Uh, we have a thing there. We have live wire and neutral. We have these are the tank uh, the tank uh, ports. Actually, you can connect two front switches on this. Yeah, this is the pump, and this is uh, where our DC is entering from. Yeah, uh, this is our water well, uh, a shallow well, manual with that. Uh, this is the inlet. The inlet. pump has already been connected down. Yeah, my cameraman, please come closer so that we see the water. Is it there? Yeah, water can be seen. Are you seeing it? Can you see that water? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. You can see the water? Let me give you the torch. Yeah, that is the. Uh -huh. Let's get the torch. Yeah, that is down. water. A um, hundred feet from here or from the ground. Uh, this is the pipe and then the wire and then the rope to hang the pump. Yes. Go. Yes, we are still going to the mountain. Up there. 650 meters from the water coast. A particular height of 70 meters. Plus about 20 meters from the well. And about to, uh, two, two, point five. Uh, this is our reservoir, it's 10,000 liters, uh, it's taking water to some troughs that we shall see later. Yeah, let's see how water is coming and we'll try to estimate how much water we are getting by each time. Yeah, we're going to use our small jet can and see how, how, how long it takes to fill to fill five thousand I mean to fill five liters. Yeah, 
So last frame will take about uh, 10 seconds to fill 5 liters of water. So in an hour, if there is no, um, if the weather is good, there, is, there are no clouds on the sky, you can get at this elevation of 70 meters plus 20 meters of the well, you can get about 1,800 liters per hour. Water comes here to the truck and the cows find the water here. So from our reservoir, which is up in that pool, which is the highest point in the farm, uh, it's about 500 meters away from this point. Water flows by gravity, or gravity pressure. Uh, some parts were connected and buried up to this point. So this is uh, our clean water. Has we, has we saw some time back, that it comes from underground already filtered and free from uh, from microorganisms that can cause diseases to cattle. So uh, cattle will be taken or a cow will be taking clean water from underground already filtered free from any organisms that may cause uh, diseases. Yeah the crops have been existing yes, they are not new like um, yeah, the water pumping system and the well.